Everybody know where Money Earner and Mount Vernon is. Right here, we in front of Creos, and we in the most historic places in Columbus, Ohio, Mount Vernon, Money Earning. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And we on this side, we got the people's, you know what I'm saying, getting things together, trying to help people get their life right. You know what I'm saying? Everything is legit, everything's right. But over here is the stewards. Everybody knows stewards. Everybody knows Edward Drug Store. Mm -hmm. You go from there, come on this side over here, where all my people <laughs> here is the same. As you know, they getting their shit together. Some people doing the thing, doing whatever they got to do to survive. But at the end of the day, this is about getting yourself right, getting your life right. And that's what I'm going through right now. Transition to saying where I'm tired of this. I'm getting my life right. I'm getting back to where I need to be in society. But barbershops, everybody walking, everybody in the crowd. Hear nothing and you don't say nothing. That's it. Man, turn around. It's Iranian right here, man. <laughs> that's, all, that's all they do. You know what I'm saying? Is open the door, yell. But it's black owned. Yeah. Black people come in this store and they yell at us all day. How are you gonna let people come over here, own stuff, buy stuff? Man, but we put the money in the store and can't even sit right here and stand in the parking lot without them yelling all day. That's not right. Yeah. Can't stand this dude, man. That's right, that's what I said. Like, yeah, I got, you got the Iranian. This motherfucker doesn't realize if it wasn't for yeah. us, you know, it's like to boycott this place and not buy a goddamn thing. Where's somebody's mom? What if somebody talked to his parents like right. that? and right. say fuck you and call the, sit around here and call right. all the women bitches. But then late night you ran around here trying to give dollars to our little 13 and 14 year old kids. Right. Now you want to talk about something, let's talk about that. Exactly. That's keeping it 100. You're right. not doing the right thing over here. Then you seem to tend to want to talk reckless to all the black people. It's all the poor black people in this neighborhood that keep your store afloat. And that's what I just said. Like, they keep this how store afloat. Come in this store, spend our that money all the time. Everything out here be nasty and, and trashy. Yell at us and you sit up there money? and you have people come out here and slave like the, like animals right. and give a motherfucker two dollars to clean up your your and um, a cigarette. Uh, thank you. Oh, to, to clean weird. to clean up out here. And then the first thing he want to tell you is fuck you and this and that and the other. I'm 55 years old. I have no business being talked to like I'm like I'm some little kid out here. I'm not. But if I got ghetto and call one of my sons or call one of my brothers, then I'm wrong. But at this point, no, I'm not wrong. Bro, I don't disrespect you. I treat you the way I want to be treated. Right. So which way, however you want to take it, we can go this way, we can go that way. You see, basically... That's how life is out here. Every day we go through a struggle. You know Every what I'm saying? Day. Every day we struggling. Every day we got to go through different missions in life to get things. Type of stores into the neighborhoods. Exactly, to give them a feel, beer. What we as black people fail to realize is that a long time ago, this was, this was the beginning of, of the system. You, they put these stores in the, in, in, the, in the neighborhood with all this alcohol and what happens throughout the day. They fill all the, all the black guys up, all the black women up. Next thing you know, they're all out here fighting and feuding and, and killing each other. But this has been going on all the way back since the beginning of right. slavery. Right. That's what they did. Right. They would actually Somebody sit. They would actually cereal, sit up cereal, and have and put cereal. alcohol out and let them let the men, them let them men drink it so that hey, they would man. fight amongst That's each good. other. And they're That's doing good. the same yeah. exact thing Hold right on, let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. Excuse me. Now, if Walmart took over this right here, and Walmart took over that right there, could you buy a single cigarette? No, but what's a single no, cigarette? Not. Do you no, smoke? No, yeah, I smoke so, cigarettes. Hold on, so that means you have money for a pack of cigarettes for every day, right? So you saying a so single can. being able to purchase a single cigarette is more important than keeping exactly. your community safe. 
your well, children say is more it. important no, than the black man and the black woman you know being respected. No, you know what? Because first of all, before the before there was ever a, a single cigarette, what did you do? You got out and worked and you bought a pack. So what's the difference? All this done has been a been, been a crutch to make people even that what much kind of more lazier. Smoke? I smoke Newports and I buy yeah. them every day. A pack? How much does that I cost buy you every day? They, they $8. There but it go. doesn't matter how you much they cost. Every day? I get out and get them. I make way to get them. What's up with you, baby? I'm not influ I'm not influenced by all this oh, out here to where to the point to where I didn't got <laughs> lazy. You know what I'm saying? This is the same people every day. Every day they do the same thing. Sometimes you gotta stop repeating the same situation because you get the same outcome. You don't want the same outcome. You wanna be able to process and keep it moving. For me, myself, I'm ready to keep it moving, keep myself together. You know what I'm saying? Right here, my little brother right here. Yay! Knucklehead, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he gonna be here. He gonna be here with us, you know what I'm saying? But right now, money under Mount Vernon, right here, baby. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit, we good. I ain't see I ain't see that. My bad man, I was on I was hey, See, that's what happened when you slip. Sometimes you don't come back up. You gotta be able to come back up from a slip. Sometimes you fall, but you got feet. Get back up. Get your life together.